Hi, this is Simon Omstall, and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at creating the manga style tunnel rays that form the background to this ident. So let's make a start on this. Okay, so first of all, let's talk project setup. I'm going with 1920, 1080, 24 frames a second, and duration of 10 seconds. It's all pretty arbitrary, really. You can choose whatever you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the library generators and I'm going to choose clouds. Bring this into this group here. Then to get the basic outlines of my tunnel, I'm going to select the group. I'm going to come to filters, distortion and polar. And now we've got this circular effect, which is a good start. But we've got this horrible join here and we can't live with that. So there's a pretty easy fix. So again, come to filters and distortion and let's use mirror. And now that's gone away because we've mirrored the two halves of the, the screen. So still a slight join, but I wouldn't worry about that because of what we're going to be doing subsequently. So then I'm going to come back to my clouds and I'm going to come to filters and I'm going to come down to stylize and I'm going to use pixelate. And that default value is a little bit too low, but I want you to look what happens if we increase it. So you see now we've got this nice sort of segmented look. Just need to be slightly careful about the value you go for. Some will open up this gap at the top here, which you don't want. So just choose a value where you don't get that gap at the top. But really, this is a this is a value that we can play with and get some interesting results with. So still not looking quite as we would like it. And that's because we want to come back to this group here and add filters, blur and zoom blur. And let's crank this amount up to something like 24. And now you can see we've got some more tunnel like effect with these kind of interesting manga type streaks to it, but it's not actually moving as yet. So to get it to move, we're going to come back to the clouds and we're going to come to the offset and to the Y value, we're going to add a ramp behavior. So add parameter behavior ramp, start value of zero, end value of two. And now I think you can see how we're getting this, this tunnel-like effect. So next we need to do a little bit of work on the clouds. So let's come over to the generator again, and let's set the horizontal scale to eight and the vertical scale to 64. And now it's stretched all out a lot more and that's looking better. And then what we're also going to do is grab this black value of the gradient, open it up if it's not opened up and pull it to the right like this. And now you see we've got this much more patchy effect and that's pretty cool. And if we want different sizes of streaks, we can come back to our pixelate and we can adjust that value. And you can see that there's a lot of latitude there for the effect that we can get. We can actually go really quite low with that and it's still working. In fact, we could actually turn it off and we'd get sort of those sort of streaks. But I really want this effect of actual hard lines. And that's why I'm using this, this pixelate. And also, as you can see, it just allows us to fine tune it a lot more. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to make a core for this. So I'm going to make a new group. And I'm just going to come down and grab the circle tool, holding down the shift and option key. I'm going to drag out a circle like that, just center it up. Uh, that's white, which is one way of doing it. And then we can just feather it like that. And we get that sense of a kind of glow in the background. Or alternatively, we could change that to black. And then it's this sort of hole in the background like this. It just really depends on the look you want to go for there. Now, the other thing I would probably do is add a levels to this cloud. So color levels, and we can just play with the color. So if we grab the red and just reduce that, we get this nice effect. So I think I'm going to stick with that. And then I'm going to actually duplicate these clouds, right click, duplicate, and I'm going to set this blend mode to add which obviously just doubling it up at the moment. But if we come back to the, the ramp behavior, let's set the start value to two and the end value to four, and then come back to the levels. And let's just play with this as well. Let's maybe 
reduce the green value a little bit. I mean, this is all entirely arbitrary. Actually, let's not do that. Let's reduce the blue value instead. Let's go for that. And so now we're getting those that, that combined effect of those two colors like that. If we want a bit less of this one, we can just again adjust that black value. You see, we can sort of thin it out by doing that. We could also just adjust the pixelate for this. So we could have a smaller pixelate for these. So we could go for maybe 15 for that. And we've got a, a more interesting effect. And the only other thing one might actually want to do is to come to the group and add filters, glow and neon. Obviously the default is rubbish. We need to set the mix value down to something like 30. That's already looking better. I think a kind of a little bit of kind of glow obviously makes it look more interesting than that. But you know, one might actually want that sort of simple graphical look or, you know, you know what I would do. I would come down and use Super glow, of course, and then it all looks instantly much sexier. And you know, I could add my own color into here. So anyway, I think I'll stop there. Hopefully you've seen how very adaptable this technique is. And uh, there's lots you can do with it, I think. So thanks very much indeed for watching. See you again soon.